Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a little problem that I came up against. Here's a picture of the mermaid in Copenhagen. Well, I angled the camera so they got the angle of the mermaid as I wanted. But however, that's kind of tilted the background there. So I need to rotate the background and keep the foreground stationary. So what I'm going to do very simply is I'm going to go to the selection brush here and just go around the edge of this. I've got snap to edges selected, of course and just follow the edge around and don't worry put the middle because we can do that afterwards there we go just quickly and you go faster it will select more then I'm going to alt select the areas that it's got that I don't want add in any bits missing and there we go that'll do and I won't spend a lot of time fussing around with this and refine that because normally I would spend a bit more time and get the, it working just about right and go zoom into the detail and check everything but that'll do for now because we're just showing the method so now I've got the back the uh, foreground selected there control C control V and I've pasted in a new layer there let's call that mermaid and I go to the back to the background layer and select invert the pixel selection. So I'm now inverting that. So I've got this, the background selected, Control C, Control V. So I've got that layer selected there. Control D to get rid of the marching ants. Don't need those now. And I go here and make that take. In fact, I'll just right click and delete the background so just to make it clearer there. Now then, I've got a mermaid layer and a background layer. So I need to fill in here uh, after I have gone to the crop tool and rotated it. There we go. Let's rotate that. That's about straight, isn't it? Now I'll apply that. Now I need to fill in. So I do go to select uh, alpha range and select partially transparent and then edit and in paint. And this will take a while, so I'll let it go quickly. There we go. That's worked there. Sometimes, by the way, if it doesn't work properly, you can just do the whole thing again. But now I can select and deselect or control D then bring back the mermaid and have a look around to see where I need to do a little bit of cloning or something. The bottom bit there I can just do a bring the bottom up here. I'm worried about that, so let's snip that off. There's a bit around here, so I'll zoom into that. And I'll just do a little bit of cloning to tidy that up there. So I'll go to the clone brush, make sure I've got the background layer selected there. I'll click here and just fill this in. I can just go straight over the edge there because the mermaid is on another layer. There we go. And Anything else? I can't see anything, but you can go around and close in and select that. So there you've got the separated one. I've got that straightened up background. And now you can do things like you can go to the mermaid here and say, put on a curves and bring that into there. There we go. And lighten up the foreground there. Go to the background. Uh, maybe put in a blur on that and just sort of up the background blur just a little bit just to knock it out a bit further without being unrealistic and so on. So there we go but the basic technique is separating the foreground and the background and then filling in the gaps. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.